wait, wait, wait. You can't have the review without me. Hello everybody, Chris here from Divisible Cars and I've got something quite special here because I'll admit it right now, this is a car that I actually wanted to buy at some point in my life when it first came out. This is a Velosta, but it has something more unique than that because this what I have here is the Veloster N-Line. It is derived from a race car. It's not a homologation special, but it is somewhat derived from an actual race car they use in the US and now the UK, which is of course the Veloster NTCR car, which this one gets a few of its looks and of course a few features from it too. Now, we can kind of see this here at the front where it has this aggressive front end with these red kind of inlets here on the side that are covered in black to give it that aggressive feel. More of that black and red pan is found here along the side here on the side skirt. It's got a big thick bit of red paint there. And as we come to the back, we've got this black spoiler at the top here with for some reason the only instance of carbon fiber, the lightweight material. Now, if we come further towards the back here, we have this really aggressive rear diffuser with these canister size exhaust outlets here. And the sound this car emanates is absolutely incredible. Now, while we're here at the back, why don't we have a look behind door number one? Or should we say door number four on this car? Because it is the boot, isn't it? Now, oddly enough, you would have thought, mm, it's a little small, isn't it, the car here? So there's not gonna be a lot of boot space. There's not a lot of rear visibility, but you'd be surprised, there is actually quite a bit of boot space back here. As you can see, I've got a fire extinguisher, warding triangle, and a medical kit, plus a bottle of water, but it's quite deep in here. I could probably fit myself in here. Maybe not. Inside is like the outside. It's very sporty in nature. It has these sport seats with the signature N branding here, and these holes in here, where you can put harnesses through, but this one doesn't come with harness. This one has blue seat belts instead. It is very comfortable if you're of a smaller frame, like my videographer. For me, there's quite a bit here I can wiggle around in, so, and it kind of gives me a bit of a ache here, but that's because of my size, obviously. Now, that's not what I wanted to show you here. What I really want to show you is this, the steering wheel. Now, every car has it, but not every car has these massive blue buttons here. One side, we've got the drive mode selector, which of course, normal, eco, and sports. But the one on the right here with a checkered flag that will get you to the end of the race in no time is this button I want to show you, because this one, as soon as you press it, boom, you get this thing called N mode. And with N mode, the car instantly sets itself up the exhaust opens up and the noise it creates is phenomenal in this car. And here we have the heart of the beast here. This here is a 2.0 litre four cylinder petrol engine. However, it is aided by a turbocharger and it generates 275 horsepower, which is sent to the front axle here. That's kind of why this is a bit busy down here too. It sounds incredible. Now, in the car, we've shown you that it does have that special Enmo button. And of course it does have various ways that you can shift gears. We don't get the manual here in the United Arab Emirates. However, we do get the automated manual, which includes the stick manual bit at the bottom where you can kind of push it to the left and go up and down, or you can use the paddle shifters for a more engaging experience. So what is the pricing of this car? Well, it is 147,000 dirhams brand new from the showroom. And is it worth it? If you're an enthusiast and you're looking for a quirky hatchback, this is what you need. Hot hatch, by the way. Not just a standard hatchback, a hot hatch. Now that's it for Dubizzle Cars. I'm gonna have my turn in the car right now.